The Target 12 investigators are bringing you a rare look inside one of the state's newly licensed medical marijuana growing operations. There are now 24 licensed cultivators in the state, and we've learned that number could triple in the coming years. The state says these multi-million dollar facilities are safer and more secure than smaller grow operations in garages or basements, so we wanted to learn more. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto with the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. We got an inside look at how the state is trying to watch every single leaf, although for security reasons we are not releasing the exact location. We found out cannabis chemistry is a big part of what grew into $27 million in marijuana sales in Rhode Island last year. Before you see the plants, you notice security staring down at you. How many fingers, Pete? <laughs> oh, that's a little delayed, but I see four fingers. All right, that's right, thanks. Cameras connected to the Department of Business Regulation watch from the front door and peer into every corner of this and the state's other licensed growing operations. And you can see on the other monitor here, we have the loading docks, parking lot. Technology also cleans the air with giant carbon filters. And eliminates the odor, fresh air comes out here. So neighbors on the outside should not be able to smell what's growing, although from the inside, it's pungent. So Ted easy. Grillo and Zach Allen co-manage this 8,000 square foot facility. This room is where the beginning of the plant's life cycle starts. It feels like a different season behind every door the photo. with high humidity in this room. It's fogged up. Hold on one sec. Each plant has a barcode that are scanned into the state's database of about 60,000 legal plants. On the forefront. The chemistry of what's growing here is drawn on whiteboards and windows. They're working on concocting combinations of the more than 100 compounds found in pot. The top two right now, THC, which makes the consumer high, but is also said to relieve pain, nausea, and other problems. And CBD, the more medicinal compound credited for helping several issues, including seizures and anxiety. And we can extract them and produce tons of other products to really hone in those numbers and and uh, apply a product that has a specific percentage of THC and CBD in it. We want to definitely develop a certain brand of high quality, efficient, clean medicine. Norman Bierenbaum, who led the development of the DBR's licensed cultivation program, tells Target 12 the modern day cultivator is eliminating the medical marijuana industry's reliance on thousands of less scrutinized growers. We didn't know who was growing, where they were growing it, under the conditions they were growing. The DBR is currently going through 42 other cultivator license applications with no plans to reopen the licensing process in 2018. As of now, there are more than 19,000 medical marijuana patients in the state. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. And coming up new at 6, the dangers of what the state now calls the old way of growing marijuana. Plus a look at how these current growing operations might impact the recreational market. The Target 12 investigators taking you inside a newly licensed marijuana grow. At 5, we showed you the high security and the chemistry of cannabis involved in this growing industry. And new at 6, we wanted to know if these medical marijuana growers are geared up to expand if recreational marijuana is legalized. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with the details. It is one of the fastest expanding industries in the state, and that is without the legalization of recreational marijuana. The newest section of this medical marijuana grow. The cannabis is loaded into this vessel here. Is the extraction lab. Carbon dioxide will be used to draw out the active ingredient in the plant for edible products and oils. Medicinally speaking, uh, vaporizing versus smoking is always going to be healthier. Uh, and as well as ingesting it orally, whether it's through a syringe in, in its raw oil form or through uh, other various edibles. This is said to be a safe process, but the illegal market extraction alternative, including this five alarm blaze in 2015, a South Kingstown house fire was also started by BHO production, killing one man and injuring another. We're told just growing the plant under lights in attics, garages, and basements has also been a safety concern. How many fingers, Pete? Before the state began licensing and monitoring medical marijuana growers last year, law enforcement and fire departments had no idea where pot was growing. There are still hundreds of smaller growers in undisclosed locations, but there are now 22 licensed facilities like this 8,000 square foot grow. 
another 40 licenses are in process, potentially tripling the number of large-scale growers. Governor Raimondo has proposed expanding the number of compassion centers from 3 to 15, and the new crop of growers is expected to meet the demand that last year brought in $27 million in marijuana sales. We asked if the owners and operators of this grow are geared up to produce pot for recreational use if the law changes, but we're told the focus here is medicine. We heard a similar answer from the state. Right now, we're just trying to make sure that regulated medicine is as accessible as possible so people don't feel like they need to grow it in their homes in inconsistent and potentially dangerous conditions. But looking to the potential pot future is part of some medical marijuana license applications. Some people put in applications because they're trying to get ahead of where the state is. I don't think that the state is there yet. Nothing that we've done right now is looking towards recreational. A poll by Regulate RI last year indicated 59% of Rhode Islanders support legalizing pot for recreational use. A national poll puts that number for the entire country at 64%. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.